Hey Grace, we just bought CSE to help our SecOps team. I need help getting started so I can hunt threats and stop attackers. Sure. Let's start with CSE's rules. They form the basis for all the threat detection and insight correlation in CSE. First things first, do you know what CSE is? Of course. CSE stands for Cloud Sim Enterprise. It's a cloud-based enterprise-grade SIM. And SIM stands for Security Information and Event Management. Someone's been studying their acronyms. The CSE platform can take all your security logs and correlate them to help you make data-driven decisions and investigate security events. So, do you know what a CSE rule is? Not really. I saw this definition in the docs. A CSE rule is logic that fires based on information in incoming records. When a rule fires, it creates a signal. Yeah, that definition has a lot of jargon. Let's break it down. First, a record is a message that has been normalized to match a defined, structured schema. Like how every log message uses a different timestamp, a record will normalize them all to one timestamp standard. Great example. CSE would convert your timestamps to the same standard. Now, the next thing you need to understand is a signal. A signal is based on an entity and must contain a severity level. Oh no, that just sounds like more jargon. It's okay. Let's take a look at a rule and maybe you'll understand. Log into the CSE UI. In the top nav, click content, then rules. This will show you all the rules you have. Wow, I already have hundreds of rules? Yeah. Sumo Logic is constantly updating the rules and insights in CSE based on the latest cybersecurity threat intelligence. Click the help icon in the top right corner to see the latest announcements. Wow, these updates happen every few days. No wonder CSE keeps my data secure. Yeah, less work for you, huh? Now, click create so we can make another rule to help you understand entities and signals. Looks like there are four types of rules. Match, threshold, chain, and aggregation. Yeah, each rule type fires under different conditions. Match rules are the simplest. They look at a single rule and check if certain conditions are met. Sounds like I want a match rule to keep things easy for now. Good idea. Click it. Okay. So here you see a rule. Match rules are really just fancy if-then statements. On the left, you have your if statement. The if part can be whatever you want, like if the IP address matches a blocked IP. And on the right, you have your then statement. For all rules, the then part is to create a signal out of a record that matches the if part. So when I write a rule, I only have to configure the left part? Not exactly. You have to configure the then statement too. The signal must contain an entity. That's usually a unique identifier, like a MAC address or host name. The signal must also contain a severity, which you can customize to be higher or lower, depending on your rule. And you can pick a stage based on what part of the MITRE attack framework your rule applies to. You can give the signal a name and description too, but entity and severity are required. Hmm, what do those entities, severities, and stages get used for? Good question. Go back to the main page of CSE. See in the top left, every record that's ingested into CSE gets compared to all your rules. So 200,000 records became just 51 signals? Right. When the if statement of a rule gets triggered, it becomes a signal based on an entity. Click entities to see the entities that have a signal based on them. Okay. When signals with the same entity get created, their severity scores are added together into an activity score. If the severity gets high enough, they combine into an insight. Check out the insights tab now. All right. Wow, these insights names are using the stage from the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Yeah, that's why it's important to configure the stage when setting up your rules. I see. When I first logged into the CSE platform, I saw records, signals, and insights but I wasn't sure how they all are related. So let me try to summarize. A rule takes a record, which is a normalized log message. If the rule matches the record, it decides if it's a signal. That's right. And that signal has an entity and a severity score. So then CSE uses correlation to turn all those signals into insights based on those entities and scores? Yeah, you get the idea. Awesome. Thanks, Grace, for showing me how CSE rules turn records into insights.